What's up? <laughs> hey guys, I'm back in the kitchen cooking it up. Y'all been asking for this? I'm gonna knock it out. Some homemade roast beef po' boys. That's what's up. Y'all stick around. I'm about to knock this out. Paya! Yeah, we're getting that pot heated up, huh, Juju? What you think? <laughs> and over here, we have a three pound Angus Chuck roast. Whoa. It's probably a higher end cut of meat. I've done this with Eye of Round. Comes out really good either way, but I thought I'd kick it up a little bit today. So let's go ahead and season this bad boy up. So I'm gonna season both sides really generously with kosher salt and some coarse black pepper. And pepper. There you go. So flip that over and repeat. Perfect. All right. We're going to get this thing searing. Then I'm going to get my vegetable cutting board out, chop up that onion, and we'll be good to go. All right. So in our hot pan over here, we want to coat this thing with some vegetable oil. Just get that bottom nice and silky. And then we're going to drop our meat in. Go ahead and turn your pan on. All right, so I like to sear this probably almost 10 minutes on each side. You can go less, more, whatever you like to do. But that's just me. Okay, so meanwhile, while that is searing, we're going to chop this onion right here. Oh, boy, don't mess with the Cajun Ninja. All right, guys, 10 minutes up. Let's go ahead and flip her. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at that nice browning right there. Shoo. All right, let me set my timer again. All right, good deal. So from here, go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. And throw it in your crock pot for now. We'll get back to it in a second. Meanwhile, drop your onion. Paya! You got to get all this goodness up from the bottom. Now, I've told y'all this before. If it seems like it's kind of sticking a little bit, you can always add a little bit of cold water. That'll break things up. And there you go. All right, we're going to lower the heat a little bit, let this simmer, and we'll come back to it. Meanwhile, we're going to make a little concoction over here. So, what you got is both packs of this onion soup mix right here, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a tablespoon of pickle pepper sauce, and one cup of water. Add that onion soup mix in. So, a tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you say it, and a tablespoon of pickle pepper. Get in there good. All right, so back over to these onions. You want to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. Stir that in good. All right, these have cooked down really good. So we're going to pour in our little concoction here. Just mix that in really good. Now look, all that. It might worry you a little bit, but trust me, it's going to cook down so much, you're not even going to know what's in there. Good deal. Okay, so look, I like to poke some holes into this roast, so that way the juices can really get up in there. So go ahead and do that accordingly. I don't want to film this too much because it's a little graphic. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> All right, now you want to take your mixture and pour it over the top of this roast. Booyah. All right, we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna cook it on low for eight hours. We'll be back. So I like to come back at about the seven hour mark. So uh, if you do this, make yourself available in seven hours. All right, as you can see, one hour left. So. We're gonna do some things right here. Over here we have half a cup of cold water. We're gonna add 
two tablespoons of cornstarch. Good deal. And get that mixed in really good with a fork. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this roast here. <laughs> Boy, that looks good. All right, so wanna be very gentle here. Picking this bad boy up. It's gonna be tender. And put in a bowl off to the side. Oh, look at that. Go ahead and add that cornstarch in there. That's gonna thicken up, make it a nice gravy. Meanwhile, you're gonna take some forks and kind of tear this meat apart here. Because what it is, is we want to get all the meat that's in the middle broken up and then back in the gravy so every bit of meat gets some good flavor on it. And there we go. Go ahead and dump that back in here. Good deal. All right, make sure that mixes in really good. Look at this right here. Ooh, this is going to be some mean roast beef bow boys, let me tell you. All right, good deal. Cover that back up and let it cook for the final hour. Okay, guys, this is almost done. So, in the meantime, i got a little something over here I like to do with my po' boy buns. Now, you don't have to do this, but for me, I like to set it over the top. So, what I do is I take a little bit of butter that I've softened a little bit. I spread it over these buns and I slap them down on top of my griddle. If you don't have a griddle, you could do it on a pan. Oh yeah, and there you have it. So the buzzer went off on the roast beef. Oh, look at that, boy. Stir that around, boy. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Okay, so we're gonna get some on our bread over here. Let's get a nice little fix in there. Look at that bar. Oh, yes. All right, we're going to go ahead and dress this thing. So, I have lathered up some mayonnaise on the other side of this bun. I'm going to put some shredded lettuce. Some slices of tomato. And four slices of pickles. Boom. Now you can dress yours however you like. That's just how I like to do it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A homemade roast beef po' boy. I'm about to knock this out. Appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. Y'all stay tuned for more. Payah!